Hey friends, welcome to the vlog today, downtown Nashville. Today is going to be mostly, in fact entirely outside of this, <laughs> a little screencast that I just put together for ConvertKit that I wanted to share with you as well. Uh, I know a lot of you are trying to build something either on the side or as your primary thing and the site builder that I'm going to show to you coming up is called Card. And card is one of the best ways to build a single page site, could also be a landing page, could be an about page, you can do uh, sales checkouts, you can do all kinds of things. The pricing is only $19 a year, $19 a year <laughs> for a pro plan, so definitely check that out. Out. I think it's gonna I think it's gonna change some things for some of you it's uh, gonna be that missing piece but especially if you combo this if you combo this video with the video we just did on sales funnels those two things together uh, they can make you some sales they can uh, bring some money in for you so check this out uh, shout out to AJ from here in Nashville who uh, built card it's a great service it's probably one of my favorite uh favorite new products of 2017 so definitely recommend checking it out we're gonna get started right now peace Hey friends, in this short video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Card to set up your first website or a simple landing page that you can use to collect email addresses. If you're seeing this and you're coming over from ConvertKit, then it's probably because you clicked something in an email or you've talked to one of us in support or on live chat or you just saw something in the knowledge base and you don't really have a website set up yet or you're really new and maybe, you're, maybe the website that you're setting up on WordPress or Squarespace is proving to be kind of complex and more complicated than you thought you just want to have a beautiful mobile responsive one kind of one page site that that covers what you're doing who you are and collects email addresses card is so good for this and many other things i use card for several sites but i think especially if you're just getting set up for the first time then using card is something that you honestly can't go wrong on I want to show you how to set up your first site with card and connect it to ConvertKit. So what we're going to do is uh, first you do need to sign up for card, like just get you go ahead and get your account. And once you do that, just click on choose a starting point. Now I do recommend signing up for their pro plan. You can see some of these themes are only for pro. There is a free plan, but their pro plan is $19 a year, not a month, $19 a year. I think that comes up to like, I say, what is it? 19 divided by 12, a dollar 58, a <laughs> dollar 58. I guessed a dollar 56, a dollar 58 a month. So definitely want to check this out and go ahead and just sign up, just sign up and, and do it and it'll make it so much easier. But as you can see, there's some subcategories up here. You can also just look through them all. You can see how many, how many options there are. It's just, it's just nuts. You can choose a blank canvas to start if you want, but just for our sake, since we're coming from ConvertKit, let's look at this uh, form category. And what I want to do is I would choose one of these top three, but I mean, any of these will work. And I will say any of these other ones, you can also just add an email field to any of the other templates as well. But let's just keep this easy. I want to select this one right here. And so I'm going to write out just a, a little project that I'm working on. Okay, so it's called the Sports Inbox. And now I can write in any anything here that I want. But let's just say the best sports news delivered to your inbox. So you know what the heck everyone at work is talking about. Okay, so one thing to note here in terms of the formatting. So you already probably saw that I'm writing it over here, even though it's showing it up over here, but this also runs on Markdown. And Markdown is just a different way of formatting text on the web. And you can see the this subset right here. You can read more about Markdown here if you want. It is a fun way to write. I really like it. But what you can do here is like, if I wanted something to be bold, then I just put two asterisks at the front and the end of the text that I want to bold. I can also italicize it by just doing one asterisk. You can see right here. 
So that's all I would have to do. There's also some other things here for, like if I wanted to link something, then I put it in a square bracket and then follow it by the parentheses. So we don't have to get too much into that, but if you're wondering why it looks the way that it does, that is why, okay? So uh, other things that you can do, let's just uh, keep going through this here. Uh, let's go ahead and add, add an image. There we go. So what I'm going to do here, and this is a great, this is a great thing for you to check out as well. Uh, there's a service called Unsplash, and these are free stock images. You do have to, you do have to credit them. But let's just type in sports. And the way that I kind of think about this service right now is it's kind of like sports news for people that don't follow sports. So let's see. Let's try and let's see if we can find a stadium here. This is pretty cool. So is that. Let's go with this one right here. So let's go ahead and download it. Now we'll have to credit Tim. So let me just go ahead and copy that. But now I'm going to drop this image in right here. Oops. From my downloads. There we go. And excellent. I'm just going to say done. Now let's say, let me just put that in. Now here's what I'm going to do. All right, so this was set to advanced custom. What I'm going to do instead is say sign up. So that already this is where we can start getting uh, ConvertKit involved. All right, so sign up via ConvertKit. Now I need my API key. So let's go into my ConvertKit account, click on my face, and then account settings. And then grab my API key. That's my API key, not yours. Leave it alone. And then I'm going to find my form ID. So here's where you find form ID. I've already created this form. Now, I haven't done any styling on it, and you can tell I just have the naked form here because the styling is basically what uh, what card is handling at this point. All right, so I don't need to do any styling on my side. Uh, I just need to find the form ID, which is right up here. And paste this in. That's all. And then I'm going to choose display a message. This is fine. I can change this, obviously, if I want to. Click done. Now let's click back into this real quick, all right, because I want to change a couple other things. Uh, I do want name and email, but I'm going to say for the label first name and email, OK? And the button, I don't want it to say send requests. I'm going to say. Put me in coach. All right, so done. All right, so again, just to recap right here, I'm just gonna say sign up via ConvertKit, put my API key in, then my form ID, and then on completion, display a message, say thank you, because I'm very polite. Fields, name and email, I could just make it email if I wanted to. And then first name, email, just change those labels up and the button label if I want to do that, okay? And I can also change up some of the appearance here if I want it to be like not as wide, wider, spacing, and tighten, let's tighten it up a bit, there you go. And that's all I have to do. So right now, actually, <laughs> this site is ready to go. You can go ahead and just name it right here. So I'm gonna say the best sports news for people who don't follow sports. Okay, so I can use a card.co URL even if, yeah, I can use that even on the free plan. But let's just say I'm going to do my own domain. So let's do, so let's see, this, I actually haven't done this yet. So let's check this out. All right, so let's check this out. It is available. Yes, available for me because I bought it. And then what I'm going to do my DNS settings, this is on hover, but my A, so let's go ahead and add an A type. I'm gonna add another, I need to add a DNC name. It's gonna be www, www. All 
All right. I'm not sure how necessary this period is, but it's there, so let's try it out. I don't think it needs to be there necessarily. Let's go ahead and add the record. All right, so now we've done both of these. So let's see if we can do this. Now it may take a little bit of time. I don't know why this is here. Let's go ahead and publish this though and I'll come back to that. So this may take a little bit of time. This uh, right says it successfully published. So let's click on, yeah, so it may take a minute may take a minute or a whole day. <laughs> if you're watching this in the future, then feel free to check back in on it with me. But let's go ahead and get out of here. And actually this button down here doesn't need to be here, so let's just click out of it. So you can see how easy this is. Um, actually, sorry, this one? Yeah, there we go. You can see how easy this is to set up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click Save again. And yeah, I can also like, I can click on this here and see what it looks like in the uh, mobile so that's really easy to do and another thing to note is that I can also like add in other things up here I just love using I love using card I think it's really well run and beautifully designed that's that's it like let me show you a couple other let me show you a couple other ones that I've already set up I think you know we're running like maybe 10 minutes and that's how fast I've done all of this so really easy to do let's go back over to dash I'll show you a couple others that I set up I set this one up not very long at all it's not it's actually pointing to let's go ahead and view view this site so again this was really easy to do this is just like a little profile page and i put this in right here now this this site didn't have it didn't have all didn't have this form initially but all i did again come up here click plus and then I can say I wanna add a form, and then I do the exact same thing that I did in the past, all right? So easy, I've got all of my uh, social links here. So even if you're just looking at an easy, simple, like profile bio page that you wanna have set up that talks about what you do, again, really easy, let's go ahead and view it. If, I, if you wanted to come and sign up here, easy to do and all these links work obviously it's so easy to use it's straightforward if you have any questions about it you can reach out and ask me about it uh, you can just write into help at convertkit.com they have great support as well so let me know if you have any questions i definitely think that if you're wondering which site you want to use to begin and maybe you haven't started on WordPress or Squarespace yet, or you've started on them and you just find them a little too like complicated or overwhelming. You're just like, I just want a page up. And <laughs> this is what a uh, card is fantastic for. So highly recommend it. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, thanks for watching this video and looking forward to helping you grow and succeed using ConvertKit and card.